again, ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy, the man, Indy to the City, repping once again the Talk Entertainment, which is again pretty much my uh, news uh, news show for my YouTube channel, of Brother Nation Entertainment. I report on once again on um, pretty much I report on a lot, a lot of different, a lot of di different areas of news. I report on uh, political news. Um, uh, Music news, entertainment news, sport news, other types like that. I mean, I I, I report on you know I report on multiple categories of news. You know, give my honest truth, one hundred takes on opinions. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to let y'all know that um like I say, and definitely like I say more uh, like I say like I say the new the next new uh album I may end up coming out with is actually called it's probably either called Levels. Or on my levels, it'll probably just be called levels, pretty much levels. Uh, like I said, that may be uh, uh, my next album though. Don't don't fully quote me for that because it may be and it may not be. It should be, but it definitely just know that whether I'm mean, just know that is that definitely a album title for uh twenty that the definitely uh, a album title for a twenty sixteen album collection. That is definitely an uh, an album title for. 2016. So that's that's so far at least the third album title that I've announced so far, and yeah, I, I I've announced because on Twitter I announced two other ones. I announced mainstream disses and um yeah you heard me right mainstream disses and 2016 Perspectives from the 904. Those are two album titles I announced on Twitter for the year 2016, and now I'm announcing levels. I may end up making a love and love and relationships part two. I don't know. We gonna see, but uh, that's just that, ladies and gentlemen. That is just that. Um, the way I look at it is, like I said, that's just that. A lot of new elements. Like I said, a lot of a lot of this stuff, ladies and, and, and gentlemen. Like I say, um, this love and relationship stuff. Like I said, I'm really not ashamed of it at all because again, this is just stuff that any and everybody should be able to relate to who's gone through love and relationships. Cause it's amazing how quickly some people quit on relationships when they still haven't fully gotten that deep into, you know, what they need to. And I and I mean, like I said, I'm not, like I said, I'm not talking about like, like for example, you you only had one conversation and you already seen too many red flags to continue. I'm saying you just started talking and you haven't seen enough. Like you haven't even seen like one or two. I mean, enough could be. I mean, there's multiple levels of 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 red flags that you could, you know, or ne negative red flags that you could see that that will make you jump out of the relationship. So what I'm saying, you haven't you what I'm saying is you haven't seen a you you haven't seen like Lily pretty much any yet you any yet and you're just giving up on like that. That's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen of the Talk Entertainment audience right now. That's what I'm saying. For me, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a fact of being, being, like I say, I have obviously seen, heard, learned, heard and learned numerous times over and over and over again on how we are obviously not all on the same levels. Because I've seen and met people who are who are really willing, willing to give up on, on relationships just like that, even when you don't even fully know that person like that. You know, you don't, I mean, I mean, like, you don't know, like, you don't, like, I mean this, I mean like this, you don't know enough about them to give up on a relationship, yet you're already giving up on it. You know, I've seen people who, like, who really, you know, a lot of people, like, I've, I've seen and know people who shouldn't give up on a relationship just, just like that, but like I say, you know, have. I mean, obviously not everybody shares the same morals and values as I do. And whatnot. Not everybody sh shares the same. Again, um, heart, trust, talk, communication, wisdom, whatever else you want to call it, as I do. But uh, to certain degrees, it's a blessing that they don't because they did. Again, just like when it comes to a perfect world, if that that is possible, I mean, to certain degrees, it is possible. You know, again, if you know Christ, you know what's up. But you got to realize the fact being, if we did live in a per perfect world, a perfect society. Would anybody really learn at all? Would anybody ever, would anybody even, you know, learn? Would anybody ever learn? 
you know, you got to realize that. Yeah, if you lived in a perfect society, would anybody ever learn? Any, and I mean anything. But you got to, I'm just saying, I've, I'm learning, again, I'm learning, again, I'm learning every day, every day like any and everybody else is. Yeah, like I said, some of my analysis, again, continuously are, yes, not everybody are on the same levels as I am, because my, again, I've I already shouted it out, like, in Lost Relations, uh, the second song off of Lost Relations, Lost Relations, which was Astute Ashley, I, um, already, uh, shouted out pretty much, again, some of my, my, my verses of what I mean here, is that, like I say, it's amazing, like, when it comes to some of the ways I talk on friendship, I speak on friendship to certain cases like it's a marriage vow. That's kind of almost how I speak on how I speak on love and relationships to certain degrees like it's a marriage vow. For better for for worse. Even you know even if we're just friends still for better for worse. And it's amazing that I mean it's so some people it's like you know it's it's amazing. They ain't really heard nobody else really talk like that or talk like I've talked when it comes to it. And like I'm not really ashamed of talking like that when it comes to even just being friends of like you know for better for worse. I'm not really ashamed of talking like that. I have no reason to be ashamed. I'm not gonna be ashamed of talking like that for better for worse. You know even with just friendship, I'm not gonna be ashamed of talking like that. I refuse to be ashamed, and I'm not gonna be ashamed of talking like that because that just goes to show you how committed you know how committed you are to a better tomorrow with that person. As a good, best, and or better friend. That just goes to show you how committed you are to that, to that relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to give people you need to give people more than one, more than two, more than three, sometimes even more than four or five or even six or seven a opportunities to get it right. You know, because of the fact being, I mean, we all make mistakes. Even when we literally didn't think we did, we sometimes just end up making a mistake. Even when we thought we were the furthest thing from making a mistake. This one or two times, oopsie, it, you know, goes that, wait, I actually did just make a making mistake. I thought I didn't, but I did. It's a matter of fact being, ladies and gentlemen, we're obviously, we're obviously not on the same le levels here. We, we're we're going to live and learn, but again, you got to learn how to e evolve with your trust, evolve with your love, evolve with your, com your, your commitment, uh, you know, evolve with how to talk, how to act. You got to, you know, you got to, you know, grow Closer and deeper with the true meanings of of love and, and relationships and, and 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 life and commitment and compassion, dedication and a lot of things like that. And if you hear what it sounds like chomping and eating, that's because my dog is currently eating her food once again. Uh, my pet, she's currently eating her food in her doggy dish, and that is just that, ladies and gentlemen. That is just that. Again. I must admit, again, I don't encourage people to degrade women, you know, degrade women by calling them uh, bees, bad bees, and or H-O-E's, even though in my songs you've heard me multiple times just saying H-O's, mainly so I can rhyme with it, you know, one of the reasons why you've heard me say that, and because I really did think, I really have before thought that the way to spell, you know, you know, spell it, spell that, spell that word was with just a regular H O, not an H O E. But it's just the fact being, ladies and gentlemen, there's not really a way you can turn certain words into a positive. And uh, the B word and H O E and whatnot, those are not really words that you can turn into a positive. I don't care what, what anybody literally says. About it. you cannot turn certain some of the great certain degrading words, and under no circumstances can you really turn them into positives. That's just that, you know. You may have Amber Rose saying she's trying to turn you know the, the B word to a positive. You're not gonna you 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 can't. I mean you can try, but ultimately you really should fail because ultimately you have to realize, you know what that word means and how you gonna turn calling women a female dog into a positive. Word. How? That's just that. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to realize there is an agenda out there. And you got to stay alive, aware, and vigilant against it to try your best to help fight against it. You know, that is just that. Spread truth. Spread love. Spread awareness. Spread honesty. You know, again, 
Truth 100. Y'all know what's up. Like I say, this talk of the table was not supposed to be about what I'm just preaching about now. But at the same time, I'm glad it was. This was talking to the table was supposed to be about sports again. But hey, taking a break from it. Well, from the sports topic right quick. I did one on this. And I'm satisfied about that. You gotta realize, ladies and gentlemen, again, there's a spiritual warfare and a spiritual battle, a spiritual battle going on, going on out there. And you need to stay sane, safe, sober, and vigilant. You need to understand what's up. And that's just that. So just because society society defines this and that is cool does not mean it is cool. Again, Aisha Curry, I will go into into her Twitter comments very soon on a edition of Talk Entertainment. Y'all should actually already know what my opinion is on that. But I'll, I'll but for the people who don't, I'll go into another Talk Entertainment about it, and that's just that. Um, but the point is again. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, don't be so quick to quit on certain certain relationships. Even if it doesn't, in the first few tries work out, don't be so quick to 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 quit on it. Especially when you have a person like me making songs and tributes towards towards you to please take me back as your friend. Because again, that shows something that at least I'm worth and deserving of a second chance, or should I say another chance, whichever chance I'm on now. God bless.